Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So this week I'm going to review a product that got sent to me from TE Smart. So I'm just going to quickly show you that. TE Smart, hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, www.te-smart.com So this is basically a KVM switch. And it's going to be able to take a couple of my monitors. I always have a couple of different computers on the go. And I'm going to be able to have one computer running off the same two monitors. So it's a KVM. Uh, you can switch monitors around, keyboard, mice, all that kind of good stuff, even headphones. So I'm going to go through all that. We're going to get out of the box, show you what it looks like. Now, they sent me a color I didn't expect, but it's pretty good. I actually kind of like it. Uh, I was expecting a black one. Uh, and they sent me a, well, it looks more like pink, but it's called red. So you judge, you see what you think about it. I think it looks pretty sharp, actually. I'm really happy with it. And uh, we're going to hook things up, show you how it works, and we're going to go over it in as much detail as I can so you know what to expect should you want to go get one. Here we go. So as you see, this is the box that comes in. Pretty simple, it just comes out like this. We're going to have a quick look at what comes in the box. Okay, so we get it out. First thing we see is our dual monitor KVM. All right, and we're going to get it out of the plastic so you can have a better look at it without all the glare. So when you're looking at the front, you can see it's a dual two-way dual monitor KVM. You can see all your switches. Okay, so this is how you're going to know everything is online. Okay, you have your buttons that indicate everything. You have an infrared selection switch here. I'm going to go over all of these afterward. I'm just giving you a quick unboxing here first. Your on off switch and let's look at the reverse and of course on the bottom you've got these openings here we'll go over that and the important stuff so this is display port and hdmi now of course you can see on here already that you can plug in a usb mouse and a keyboard you can even plug in your headset over here your dual you can have two monitors like i said using display port and you have HDMI as well. I'll show you how all this goes together. Don't worry. So basically, this is going to be one computer. And this is going to be the second computer. All right. And I'm going to show you how all those cables are going to go on. And uh, you even have a little USB here. So you can charge things up. You want to have a USB uh, drive that uh, just plug it in, whatever. You can even have like uh, USB stuff plugged in. Uh, for different devices i'll explain all that shortly like a printer or anything like that we're, we're just going to go over it in detail but i'm just giving you a quick look first and uh, show you what it all looks like but so let's dive in let me show you that so if you've never had one of these before and i honestly haven't but where i work they use oh, multiple different ones so kind of gives me a little bit of an edge of knowing what they are you have your dual monitor kvm user manual Okay, so it says enjoy the vivid world, display port to HDMI. It's going to walk you through all the different scenarios, and I'm going to do the same thing for you. So what else do we have in here? Let's have a look. All right, so this is the nice part. So of course, in here is the nice part. They got all your cables, everything you're going to need. So they're supplying you with your display port cables. All right, so you've got a couple of sets of those. Really nice. And you have your remote control. All right. You have your power for the KVM itself, of course, because you do have to have it powered. And you have your HDMI plus USB cable. Okay, specialized cables. You can, of course, buy them, but I mean, they provide it for you, so you don't need to. And they provide two sets of them because it's for two different systems. All right, so all that is to say that's what you get in the box. And now it's a matter of let's hook something up. Let's see how it works. Okay, so to make it easier for you to understand, this is PC2, this is PC1. All right, so first thing we have to do is take our cables, okay, the ones that are joined. You've got two on each. You have your USB is going to go in here. Again, it's only going to go in one way. So you just plug that in. The other one, HDMI, again, it's only going to go in one way. So it's going to go in here. Now, on the other end, okay, so on the other end, you have another HDMI and USB. 
So that is going to be used to control your keyboard and mouse. All right. So that's going to plug into your computer. All right. Once that's done, so you have your display port to plug in. So the cable that you've got there, again, it's only going to go in one way. So plug in your display port cable. And on the other end, that is going to plug in to your PC, the graphics card. So you've got your keyboard and mouse and the graphics card going in there. Same thing on this one to the second computer. So we've got our mouse, keyboard, and graphics card done. So now what you need to do is now we're going to have to have two more HDMI cables here. So these cables here are coming from your monitor. But in our case, the HDMI cable is going to come from here, from the monitor, because we're unplugging it from the graphics card, and then plugging the, the monitor into these ones. So make sure you know which one you're doing, display one, display two, so you know which monitors. But you can figure that out after, though. But that's going to allow you to control two separate monitors, two at a time, for each different PC. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to plug all that in, and I will try to show you that as best I can, and uh, show you how it all goes from there. Okay, so this cable here, that's the one coming from my monitor. So right now, I'm going to disconnect it, and that is going to go to the display on the KVM afterwards. But I'll leave it there for now. And so now we're going to go to our two cables. Okay, so you've got the double cable. All right. So the 4K is going to go where I just unplugged the uh, monitor from. And this is going to go for just any USB port. So it controls the mouse and keyboard. And of course then, the display port cable is going to go in there as well. So we just have to find a spot to put it all. So USB is not hard. Okay, plug it in, that's those two cables, and now we have our cable for, now I've even labeled it, just to remind myself, display port to PC graphics card, okay, so, I don't leave it on there, it'll remind me later on, because this is all new to me, so, display port is to the right of the HDMI, and it will only go in one way, okay, so once I've got that plugged in, that's all our cables, now the cable that I just unplugged, from the computer, that was the monitor cable, is now going to go into the display on the KVM. So I'm going to do that next. Alright, so this cable right here. Now this is actually a cable that I bought a little bit ago. And will go up to 4K. So, now I don't have 4K monitor, but for demonstration purposes, um, it's still going to do the job. And it doesn't have to be 4K, it just has to be HDMI. Okay, so I did the exact same thing to the other computer. And the two cables from the monitors, now HDMI, one was the, the center one used to be a display port. I just switched the cable to HDMI. The displays are now coming in. They're going out here. Most control is going out there. I have no idea at this point what's going to happen if I need to switch anything else. But now's the time to find out. So one thing I do want to mention is your remote, which you can use. Okay, so your remote. It does need a battery, okay? So you want to get a Panasonic Lithium CR2025. Okay, as long as it's 2025, it doesn't matter what maker or company it comes from, as long as it's that battery. Pop your battery into your remote, and you can use that. But if you don't want to use the remote, once I get everything settled here again, you're going to be able to see everything. It's going to light up once I power it on. I have to plug in the power to it on the back. And then the switches are going to be able to work, and it's going to tell me which one's working, which one isn't. And, of course, there's a non-off switch here to make everything happen. So I'm going to sit down, plug everything in, and we're going to see what happens and if it's working right. Okay, so both PCs are plugged in. Right now I'm on my main PC, and I'm using the remote. Now, there is a bit of a learning curve, I will tell you that. Because I went from having four monitors down to two monitors that I control on two different computers. But somehow in the way I've connected it, it's actually allowing me to use three monitors. The one in the far left was never working right anyway, so I didn't really care about that. But when I move my mouse, you can see it moves from this one to that one. All right? I didn't do anything different with the mouse than what I had originally. So I do think that I have to take the mouse 
out of the original computer that it's in um, and plug it into the uh, KVM switch. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to use it on both computers. So I am going to try that. But first, I just want to show you a couple different modes um, that I'm switching to. So these are just different things I just want to show you. All right. This is just one. I'm pushing the M button and that it took it to the other PC. All right. And then I'm switching it to one. Again, like I say, there's a learning curve here. So you are going to have to play with this until you get the right configuration. Okay, I'm going to switch it again. And now I'm going to go with this one, which I think is going to activate that third monitor. Maybe it's number four. So I push the P key. And now it's activated the monitor on the top. So now I have all three monitors on the go. And now remember what I said. This is supposed to be a KVM for two monitors. So it doesn't mean that you can't run more monitors if you plug it into the computer in a different way. So that is going to be something you're going to have to figure out because this is for two monitors on two different PCs. All right. So I'm just trying to show you that real quick. I am going to quickly just show you the pamphlet because it's hard to explain, especially for me that's pretty much a novice. So this is display mode, your connection diagram, right? And it's just going to show you how all that works. And down the, finally down in the bottom, how to use it all. So again, it's all working. I'm happy with it. I am going to play with it a little bit more and see how the mouse is going to work. I do believe I have to disconnect the mouse from one computer to the KVM switch and then it's going to work in both. So back in a sec. So I took the mouse that controlled the system on the left, plugged it into the KVM in the back here where it shows you the uh, mouse keyboard. So now when I do switch it, so it's working on both of these, hit the switch button. Now there's a slight delay, just be aware of that. And then when I switch it, the mouse is working on the other one now. And the other thing I'm going to show you, and I just want to make sure, so let's, uh, okay, first, I'm pretty sure the keyboard on this one is working. So I'm just going to type something in here. I'll just type uh, CMD. Okay, so we know it's working. So now I'm going to switch back to the other one again. Okay, there we go. So it's, it's, uh, it's going to take some getting used to. But does the um, keyboard work, work with this? So let's go down here again in here and type CMD. So it's not. So that's the other thing. The only thing that's left is to take my mouse or keyboard and plug it into the back of the KVM as well. And then it's going to work on both systems. If you only have two monitors to start with, uh, then it won't be a problem. It's just because I have four monitors. So there's a lot more going on. But obviously, hitting the switch button, you'll notice that one of these buttons will go out. Okay? And that's just to indicate there's a number one here and a number two here. And it's telling you the information of which system is being used at that time. All right? So that's my main system. And when I switch it, then I'm using the other system. So pretty much good to go. I am going to play around a little more. And I'll come back. If I figure out just a little bit more, I am going to switch the keyboard, that's for sure, and disconnect it from the back of the PC because it's already got a thing going into the PC for the keyboard, so it makes sense that I have to plug that into the KVM. But I'm just doing this kind of in steps so you can see what happens as I progress along. Okay, so something I've discovered is if you have more than two monitors, which I do, you can switch between all four, which it doesn't say you can do that, but I did figure out a way to do it. Just I plugged it in exactly the way as it, I described. But for the other monitors that I already had, I just left them plugged in. So what that tells me is even though I'm on the top one is not on, because you can only still do two at a time, except for the one on the bottom. So I can't really explain that. But anyway, you can only dedicate two at a time. Let's put it that way. But if I switch the bottom right monitor, switch that cable to the second PC, I would be able to have them consistently two and two, and it would work fine. 
So right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch it to two. And you see the top monitor on the right and the one in the middle are both on the second PC. We switch it back to one, then everything refreshes, but instead, the monitor on the left and the monitor on the right on the bottom are the ones that are now working. Keyboard and mouse and everything I plugged into the KVM switch. So I've got everything working exactly the way I want. I even have the sound plugged into the sound on the back of the KVM switch. Everything's working great. So it does take a little bit of figuring out. And if you play around a little bit more, you can probably maybe go a little bit more even. Now, if you don't want to mess around with it, you can buy one of their four port KV KVMs, which is much more expensive, I might add, but it would certainly be worth it to be able to just switch to three monitors or four monitors at a time. So I think it's three. In this case, it's two. So it just depends on which ones you want. All right, everybody, so a little bit of messing around. Bottom line is, if you show it, do the cables exactly the way I said, and you only have two monitors, it'll switch back and forth without any issue. But I wanted to throw a little bit more at it, because I have four monitors. And why should I only settle for two, even though it's only a two-port KVM? I can switch between the monitors. And that's exactly what I did. And even though it's not ideal, it will be, because I'm going to keep playing with it until I get it exactly the way I want. So... If you like it the way I had it, now, don't judge that monitor on the KVM. That monitor is one I already RMA'd once, and now I'm going to have to RMA it a second time. And it's just a terrible monitor. You do not buy that monitor. It's a BenQ eSports monitor I reviewed way back. It's crap. Personally, it's crap. Because I've never had a monitor that I've had to send back and then get it again, and now I'm going to wind up trying to send it back again if they'll even take it. So just be aware. So if you like the video, you got something out of it, give me a like, helps me out. If you're new here, think about subscribing. Hit that bell for notifications for videos as they come up in the future. And uh, think about uh, what you like about the video, what you don't. Leave me a comment. If you got questions, or probably is lots of questions on this one, shoot them my way. I'll get back to you as soon as I can and hopefully answer whatever questions you've got and uh, different configurations of how to hook this up. This is the most straightforward the way I did show it. Uh, but keep in mind, now that I've showed you this, make sure you switch your KVM and mouse. Uh, from like So your mouse and your keyboard and your monitors to the KVM. And then everything will work fine. All right? So keyboard, monitor, PC monitors, as I showed you. And you've got a great product there. It's not cheap, but it's a great product. And it's one of the best ones I've seen. I actually work in a place where they use KVM switches. And these are way ahead of what we're using. And they spend a lot more of the ones where I work than they do on these ones. So just keep that in mind. So this company is T-Smart. Check them out. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.